What's up, nerds? Phoenix and... Whisker Biscuit. Here with a Chillin' Villains comic book review, graphic novel review, some sort of something or other. We're going to talk about comic books, graphic novels, and other assorted nerdy books. Oh, until we get shit. tired of talking about it. <laughs> In this particular one, we're going to talk witches. With a, with a Y, not an I. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we both we both read the book. I I saw the preview for it. I read the preview for it. It was like three or four pages. I'm like, okay, I want to try this book out. So I got it. It was only ten dollars, which is a pretty big thing when it comes to most graphic novels, comic book collections, volumes, whatever you want to call them. Slightly larger than your average comic book books. And I might add, this is volume one of. I have no idea how many volumes. I don't think there's a volume two yet, but I know that they're... I'm pretty sure they still make them. Who the hell knows? I just know I'm holding volume one in my hand. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we both read it. I thought it was pretty good. The art style was unique, and I haven't seen anything else like that in my comic book reading. What do you think in terms of at least the art? Um, I'll agree with you on the artwork. It's... Uh, you know, I think, how can I say this? Some artwork in comic books is, looks kind of phoned in, and, and this just isn't the case with this. I can recognize the art as art rather than just, do uh, you, know, you know this is Sarah? Yeah, okay, we're moving on. You know this is Bill? Yeah, okay, we're moving on. It feels like the artist is acting actually trying to put something out there and it's pretty uh, pretty graphic and pretty gory and, and it lends itself to the story really well and for the record at the end of the book it actually goes into more detail on his process of how he does the art yeah I got tired I didn't read that part <laughs> maybe I should it's an interesting it looked like thing. it was interesting but I'd sat down and read the book. Yeah. Well, I sat down. I read it in one sitting, and it was bedtime, and I was like, I don't have time for your bullshit. I, you did a good job. Good night. Yeah. He, he did a pretty good job. Uh, yes. Yeah, that artwork was definitely one of a kind. The only vague knock I could give on it is occasionally the spatter would get over top of the text, and it'd be a little hard to read, which is to say that I'm trying to find something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with the art, at least. The art is really good. The only, the only thing, and I'm not going to be overly critical, the um, the uh, characters, the witches, I yeah. guess we'll say, they sometimes they get kind of hazy. Um, I don't know if that's part of the charm of the book. Maybe you're not supposed to see them really well. I can, I mean, you can obviously tell this is some bad shit coming your way in this book. However, there's you don't really get a clear picture of them. Um, if you check the book out, you'll see what you'll see what I'm talking about. I may not be uh, describing it as well as I could be. I believe the best way I would describe that particular point is the witches are not going to be uh, not going to be the iconic look of the book, at least. No, no. Uh, some of the some of the, there are some. Uh, really sombering scenes as far as the artwork, artwork goes. But again, as I said earlier, it, the, the art and the story truly walk hand in hand in, uh, in this graphic novel. Speaking of the story, I thought it was a pretty good story. I, oh, yeah. I had imagined it might be a little bit more horror-y. Maybe I'm just numb to them at this point, but I thought it was a little more thrillery than horror, necessarily. I could be wrong. Yeah, well, it had some horrific, really profound moments in it. Uh, it had a, the opener in it with uh, the little boy and his mom. I won't, I won't give anything away, but uh, that it really it was a, an immediate attention getter. I'll I'll just say that. Yeah. Uh, it was. Succinct, it was a nice little story in itself, which is kind of what you expect out of a collection in such an art. 
Mm -hmm. My only concern with it is I don't know that I'm as interested in Volume 2. Mm. I think that Volume 1 is good on its own, but I don't know that I like where it's going. I don't know how how it's going to go anywhere. Yeah. I'll probably get it, to, especially with the price tag, but I don't know oh, that it'll carry me over to 3, that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, sequels are often lackluster as compared to the original, but uh, I mean, I'm game. I'm down for it. Maybe I'm not as hard to please as you. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's not the book was bad. I just don't know that. I don't know how the story is going to go from that one point to another, without going in a completely different direction. Yeah. Even if they have a not an identical but a, a similar situation with new characters and just have See, that uh, be sold on. Yeah. Just some some new characters, but uh, you know the the same kind of faced with the same got, in the same setting. Yeah, have the same shit stacked against them, but uh, just a little different, a little different spin on it. That I think that would hold my attention for at least a couple more volumes. Yeah. But I honestly, me, I like an Odyssey. I'd like to see it progress into uh, progress into a complete story rather than uh, one, two, three, four, however many they put out uh, of standalone uh, novels. Yeah. I, mean, I I don't know why it wouldn't continue as it is. I'm just not as certain that I'm a huge fan of. They seem to be leaving the area and the setting, and the main, the main plot is now in a different spot. I don't know how that would it, continue into a volume two. Yeah, well, they left both roads open, though, didn't they? Don't you think? Because at at the end, and, and no spoiler alert, but they left themselves open to continue the story from volume one. Sure. Now. Yes. Now, that being said, they also had what appeared to me to be a sneak peek of a second one. Now, if, which, you know, that's fine too. They can do a standalone one. Or if they're ultra clever, which I have no idea if these people are or not, the sneak peek can tie new characters in a new scene, in a new scene. In with the uh, with uh, the remaining characters from Volume One. Yeah, but I don't know if they're into that kind of badassery or not. I I don't know them off the top of my head, or how good mm -hmm. they are one way or the other. But I do know that Volume One. If you bought just Volume One, it's really good. It's just my biggest concern is that Volume Two is either going to be filler between a build back to a three, or that it's going to go further away from one. That's my concern. They could very well surprise me, make Volume 2 even better than Volume 1. I see no reason they couldn't. Just, that's the way it leads me. I have no idea, but I'm sold. That's my final answer. <laughs> yes, Volume can... 1, as a, on its own merits, is very good. If you're a fan of horror or thriller with some horror themes, I see nothing wrong with it. And the price point is pretty hard to argue with. For sure, and if you're a if you're a gore fiend as well, I know there's some of you sick fucks out there. That <laughs> there's there's no shortage of that either. You get there's some splatter house going on for sure. Unless you have anything else to add, I think that's about all I got for that book. I got nothing. I'm stumped. <laughs> I don't know how stumped you are, but I think we've we've worked ourselves into a corner like witches very well might have. Huh. I don't know. I feel like I'm bashing on it. It, it is, it's a good book. I'm just I'm I'm concerned about two. That's all. You're bashing on it. You're being I don't know whether buy a book one. Yeah, I don't know if something you got something else on the brain. That uh, maybe we'll mention in another one of these, but uh, yeah, I think you're being overly critical. I think for nine ninety nine, it's uh, too. if you're into graphic novels, it 
it's definitely worth your time. That I will absolutely give it. With that, Phoenix and Whisker Biscuit from Phoenix TV, thanks for watching. So long, folks.